Psalms, the 69th chapter, verse 6. The book of Psalms, the 69th chapter, verses number 6. Psalm, the 69th chapter, verse 6. The Bible says, May those who hope in the Lord, may those who hope in you, not be disgraced because of me. May those who hope in you not be disgraced because of me, O Lord. The Lord Almighty, may those who seek you not be put to shame because of me, O God of Israel. May those who hope in you not be put to shame because of me, O Lord. The Lord Almighty, may those who seek you not be put to shame because of me, O God of Israel. There are five things I'm going to outline in the scripture. Five things I'll be outlining here and then we'll be done. Five major things we'll be looking at in this scripture and then we'll be done. Number one is that may those who hope in the Lord because of you not be disgraced. There are people who have seen your lifestyle and they have seen the way you talked about God and they believe that your God is the solution. They believe that your God is the answer. I pray the same God that did it for you will not put them to shame in the name of Jesus. The same God that rescued you, those you have shared testimony to, about the great work of God. The same God that rescued you, we rescue them. Those who have trust in your God for healing. Those who have trust in your God for salvation. Those who have trust in your God for deliverance because they have seen what your God has done in your life. May God answer them. May they not be put to shame. May your life become an example of hope to many around the world. May people see you and hope in God again that of a truth there is a God. He said, may those who hope in you not be disgraced because of me. O Lord, the Lord Almighty, may those who seek you not be put to shame because of me. May your life reflect Jesus. May people not hope in God and then see you and say, ah, they have given up in God. Why? Because they don't see evidence. Why? Because they don't see result. Why? Because they don't see answers in your life. May your life carry miracles. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May your life bring miracles to people. May your life be an epitome of testimonies. May people see you and hope in God. There are many of you, when people look at you, they lose hope in God. When people look at your life, they lose trust in God. When people look at your life, they give up in God. But I am praying for you today. By the power in the name of Jesus, that your life will attract people to his kingdom. Those who hope in God will see your life and they will have testimonies. Those who hope in God, they will see your life and they will have miracles. Those who hope in God, they will see your life and they will have breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ, may those who hope in you not be disgraced because of me. That means those who hope in God will see righteousness in your life. They will see holiness in your life. They will see grace in your life and say of a truth that God walketh in his life. They will see power in your life. They will see anointing in your life. They will see evidence in your life. They will see riches in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number one is that your life will be an example of evidence. That those who hope in God will not be disgraced. Number two, hope in God. Hope in God. There are people who hope in God. This scripture is a clear sign that people hope in God. Hope in the Lord.
Have your hope in God. I am praying for you to there. Maybe you have hope in man and they fail you. Maybe you have hope in friends and they fail you. Maybe you have hope in your aunties and they fail you. Maybe you have hope in your uncles and they fail you. Many of you, you've hoped on people. You have hoped on even those around you, those in your companies, those that are your friends, those in your family, and they have no good result. I pray for you today that you will receive grace to hope in God. Hope in God. Let, let me tell you something. There is nothing as great as hoping in God. Why? Because answers will come. I am speaking to somebody today and I'm praying for you that you hope in Jesus. Hope in God. Have your hope in God. Many have hope in different areas and they have not seen hope come to pass. There is someone I'm speaking into. You are about to lose hope. But the Lord said hope in me. Hope in God. Have your hope in Jesus. Ilando shakaladaba what is hope? Expectation. Alando Zagada Bahia. Have your expectation, your future expectation in God. What is hope? Future expectation. That God will do it. Have your future expectation in God. He said, Oh Lord, the Lord Almighty, may those who seek you not be put to shame. Number three, you will not be put to shame. You will not be put to shame. You will not be put to shame. As you hope in God, you will not see shame. As you hope in God, you will not see shame. I break the power of darkness. I break every demonic yokes that want to bring shame into your life. I command them to be broken by fire. As you hope in Jesus, you will not see shame in the name of Jesus. The Lord will eradicate shame from your life. He will eradicate shame from your family. He will eradicate shame from your business. He will eradicate shame from your health. He will nullify them in the name of Jesus Christ. Number uh, four, number five, number five, excuse me, rather. Number five, you will not be disgraced. You will not be disgraced. Put to shame and disgrace look similar. Put into shame and disgrace look similar, but you will not be disgraced. That means you will not lack a grace. That means you will not be out of grace. That means you will not lack grace. You will not be out of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not be put to shame. You will not lack grace. You will not be out of grace. The enemy will not mock you. The enemy will not mock you. You will be full of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will be full of grace. 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 You will not be out of grace. In the name of Jesus, the grace to win, the grace to excel, the grace to see 2024, though we are in 2023, but the grace to see next year, the grace to see next month, the grace to succeed throughout this year. The grace to conquer. Receive it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. As you hope in God, receive grace. 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 Grace to see your expectation come to manifestation by the power of the Holy Ghost. He said, may those who hope in you not be disgraced because of me. I pray for you. As you hope in God, you will not see disgrace. As you hope in God, you will not see disgrace. As you hope in God, you will not see disgrace. I pray you will see answers. I I pray you will see answers. I pray you will see answers. You will see solutions in every area of your life. Receive answers right now. Receive solutions right now. Receive answers right now. Receive solutions right now. Receive answers right now. Receive solutions right now. In the name of Jesus, your hope will not dash. Your hope will not be put to shame. Your hope will not dash. Your hope will not be put to shame. In Jesus' blessed name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. Is under power. 
His hand of grace, his hand of testimony be upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Your hope will not dashed. Your hope will not be put to shame. Have hope in God.